We have been through Honolulu Airport a few times now, and we thought we would make a video on how to navigate this airport and to let you know some things we thought that were great and some things we've learned to avoid. Our goal with this video is to give you the information you need to plan your trip, feel prepared and less stressed, and hopefully after watching, the airport feels somewhat familiar as you visit this beautiful island. Hey everyone, this is Nancy from New Travel Escapes, and today we're walking through the Daniel K. Inouye International Airport, which is the largest airport in the state of Hawaii. Honolulu Airport is located three miles or five kilometers northwest of the city of Honolulu. Terminal 1 is the Inter-Island Terminal, Terminal 2 is the International or Overseas Terminal, and Terminal 3 is the Commuter Terminal and the terminal if you are flying with Mokulele. We are going to start with some quick things to know about Honolulu Airport. There is free Wi-Fi throughout the airport. There are ATMs and currency exchange counters if you need them. There are shops and plenty of restaurants, as you would expect. There are airport lounges and information desks. They offer luggage storage as well, and this could be really handy if you've decided you want to go and visit another island for a day or two and don't want to lug all of your luggage along with you. Or if you have a long layover and you want to go into Waikiki for a few hours, leave your luggage with the airport luggage storage and pick it up on your way back through the airport. There are also some medical services provided by paramedics available 24-7, 365 at this airport if you have an emergency. Hopefully you will never need them, but it's good to know just in case. And there is a post office drop box in case you want to mail that pineapple home to someone. If you are traveling from the mainland, then of course you do not need to worry about doing customs and immigration. If you are arriving from elsewhere, then you may have done U.S. customs in your departing country, or you may need to do it when you arrive. Customs is simple and follows the normal USA customs and immigration procedures. Just a quick note for my American subscribers, don't forget that Real ID is going to be a requirement by 2025, so make sure that you have the proper ID so you don't run into any hiccups when traveling. When you arrive, make sure you listen to which baggage claim area your airline is using. This is important because baggage claim area 1 through 11 is over by gates A, B, C, and D. Baggage claim area 16 to 31 is near gates E, F, and G. If you're using baggage claim area 16 to 31, and most of us will be, you take the escalator down towards the ground transportation. At the bottom of the escalator, 16 to 22 is to the left and 22 to 31 is to the right. There is a computerized voice at that point that will tell you which carousel number your airline is using. So what if you're connecting? How do you catch a connecting flight to a neighbor island from the Honolulu airport? When you check your bags, your airline will tell you if you have to collect them again and recheck them, or if they will transfer them. Find out the name of the connecting flight when you're making your reservations. If you're flying with Hawaiian Airlines to the neighboring islands, you will depart from Terminal 1. If you are flying with Mokulele to the neighboring islands, you will depart from Terminal 3. So you may be arriving into Terminal 2, and then you need to connect and depart from either Terminal 1 or Terminal 3. So how do you do this? You have two options. The first is via the Intra-Airport Transportation System, aka the WikiWiki Shuttle. This is a free shuttle that provides transportation around the Honolulu Airport between terminals. There will be signs in many of the hallways directing you to these shuttles. Shuttle stops are located outside of each terminal on the first level at curbside. The routes will circle around terminals 1, 2, and 3 approximately every 20 minutes. You can also walk it, and it's a 10 to 15 minute walk from terminal 2 to terminal 1, and there will be signs directing you to the intra-island flights. There are courtesy phones at terminals 1 and 2 and visitor information assistance counters that are open between the hours of 5 a.m. through 10.45 p.m. daily. It is important to know that if you have a layover at Honolulu Airport, just know that there are no facilities for showering or napping here. The distance from the airport 
to Waikiki is 10 miles or 16 kilometers. Now that you've got your bags and you're exited the airport, how do you get to your hotel or resort? Well, you have a few options. You can take the bus. There are three bus routes serving Honolulu Airport. You can take a shuttle. Roberts Hawaii Express Shuttle offers door-to-door -door services from Honolulu Airport to anywhere in Oahu. They can be shared or they can be private, and I'll touch back on this a little bit later in the video. You can take a taxi. A single trip to Waikiki costs around $50 USD, so that 10 miles is not cheap. You can also rent a car. To rent a car at Honolulu Airport, it's probably a good choice and really my preferred method because when we're there, we're going to see and do things around the island, but it is expensive and you have to pay to park everywhere. So make sure you leave enough in the budget for it. Also, if you have a late night arrival, please note that the car rental counters close at midnight. So if you're delayed, make sure you contact your rental company in advance so that they know you're running late. Hopefully they don't leave you stranded but make sure you let them know or you will simply be considered a no-show and they're going to go home. There are 10 rental companies consolidated into one location. The entrance to the car rental area is located directly across Terminal 2 outside of baggage claims 26 to 31. If you arrive at Terminal 2 baggage claims 19 to 31, you can easily walk to the same entrance. If you arrive at Terminal 1 baggage claims 16 to 11, or Terminal 2 baggage claim areas 16 to 18, or Terminal 3, simply walk to the designated rental car shuttle pickup point and they will take you to the car rental area. When you get to the rental area, go up to level 2 where the rental car counters are located. Then they will give you the keys and direct you to where you can go and find your car. It sounds complicated, but there are plenty of signs, so it is not too bad. There are also off-airport car rental companies, as well as Turo rental options, and there is Uber, Lyft, and Holo Holo rideshare options. Here's a picture of the ride app pickup locations. Here are the pre-arranged ground transportation locations. There's also the airport on-demand shuttle service that I was talking about earlier. You can find rates and services at airportshuttlehawaii.com. No, this video is not sponsored by anyone, but I wanted to let you know in case it helps. Here's an example of their rates and service areas at the time of this video, so you can compare it to a car rental and parking and see what may better fit your itinerary and your budget. Viator.com is also a great place to price out some airport transfers and activities on Oahu. There are ground transportation courtesy phones everywhere to contact your ride if someone is picking you up or you have included hotel and airport transfers. Daniel K. Inouye Airport has a beautiful indoor-outdoor design and many of the walkways are open air. They have also incorporated stunning gardens and koi ponds right into the middle of the airport. If you have a wait at the airport, either for a connection or for a departure, make sure you grab a coffee and there are no less than six Starbucks at Honolulu Airport, and check out the cultural gardens right in the middle of the terminals. They are amazing, and it's a great place to spend some time, get some fresh air and relax while waiting for a flight rather than waiting in those crowded chairs at your gate. The Chinese, Hawaiian, and Japanese gardens were designed by Richard Tung in 1962 when the airport was being built. There are also several lounges in the airport if you have to wait, so check with your airline, your resort, or if you have one of the lounges as a perk with your credit card and see if you can access these ones. My apologies again for the shaky video. Security always gets a bit twitchy when I try and record in an airport. Our goal is to give you lots of information about Honolulu Airport to help make your vacation a little bit less stressful. Thank you for watching. If you found this helpful, we would really appreciate it if you would consider subscribing to our channel. We have a lot coming up on the channel this year. We did some zip lining at Kualoa Ranch while on Oahu. We have some Koalina Resort reviews, as well as several all-inclusive resorts in Cancun, Mexico. So stay tuned if any of that is of interest to you. Happy vacation planning, and we will be back next week with more new travel escapes. Bye!